Hello and good morning. How are you doing today? Going? Doing very well, sir. How are you? Doing, doing great. <laughs> How many times in your childhood did your mother say, don't play in the mud, Bryce? I'm, I can, I'm not going to tell you that again. <laughs> too many, too many. And I've got the, uh, you know, the childhood pictures to prove it. I mean, uh, <laughs> a lot, a lot. You know, this is one of those sports that really, I, I think it charges up every guy and every girl because it's so unpredictable because you don't know what the mud is going to bring. Yeah, it's it's unpredictable and also in a, in the strangest way, relatable. If, you, if they haven't went and played in the mud at some point in time, uh, even if it's with your feet or with a car or truck or whatever, you want to. So, so, so yeah, you're right. It's, it's unpredictable and, and also relatable. Well, I love how Discovery has really brought this to fans because it's something, you know, we, we, we know NASCAR, we know the Indy 500, but this is a sport that really has some history to it as well as some drama. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Um, and yeah, the, the coolest part about what we do is, you know, NASCAR or something like that, you know what you're getting every weekend. It's, 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 it's an asphalt track. They're going to turn left. Um, you know, it's, it's for me personally, uh, I can't watch it for too long. It gets a little boring to me with what we're doing every weekend is something different, wild and crazy. And, uh, and that, that people can actually take part in, you know, every, every, any person can just, can, uh, can be a part of this if they want to. The show we're talking about is mud madness. How do you prepare each week for something like this? I mean, first of all, that your, your team has got to build a machine that you've got to trust. Yeah. So, um, a lot of work goes into it. Uh, I like to say a, a lot of blood, sweat, and beers. Um, <laughs> so we spend a lot of time in the garage. I've got some a, a couple really close friends that help me out with it. Um, as far as doing doing all the you know the cleanup and all that, wife helps me out with that. It really is a team effort to to get this. But yes, a lot of. Uh, a lot of uh, sleepless nights, that's for dang sure. You know what? I never even thought about that. The cleanup afterwards, what you've got to do to get into every single part on that machine. Yes, and it's not just uh, clean it up so that way it works. I like, I personally, uh, I, I like to look good whenever I show up too. You know what I mean? So like even if it is for only five minutes when we get it off the trailer and it's sitting there before we get it all nasty again, that that means everything to me to to have that thing nice and clean looking to take care of my sponsors that take care of me i want to you know what i mean i want it to look as good as i possibly can up until the point that uh we get it nasty and tore up when you've got someone like megan that's also invi- involved in these mud races is it is it like going my god that's the kind of sister i wanted in my life a sister that got muddy with me um you know, uh, Megan is awesome for sure. Um, but I actually do have a sister. She really, uh, we did go riding ATVs and stuff like that. She's, she's definitely not in, into the scene as much anymore, but you know, I don't know. I, I gotta say, I, I haven't ever really said that. I, I definitely do enjoy having her as a good friend though. Yeah. When, when you did the ATVs as a younger child, did your parents use that as a reward only because that's the way my dad got us to do things around the house to get those chores done. You can go ride the motorcycles and the ATVs, but you got to do this first. A hundred percent. Yes. Uh, that's actually the only thing that they could take away from me as a kid growing up that I would, I would actually have punishment. You know, I'm, I'm just a rowdy freaking kid, man. Uh, <laughs> I still am, but, uh, yeah, dude, like they, they could take anything away, ground me, uh, give me whoopings, whatever. And nothing really bothered me until they took the keys away from that thing. And, uh, and then I was, I would straighten up. That so, is so I remember that. I don't remember a whole lot as a child, but I do remember that. So what kind of tailgating takes place at one of these events? <laughs> Uh, that's some of the most fun. Um, <laughs> I say we got more lights and lasers and speakers than Burning Man. Uh, we, I'm not kidding, man. This is a, the, the competitions and stuff are serious during the day, but the partying is a whole nother level at night. So it, it's, uh, it's a good time. And that's, what, that's another part of what I mean when anybody can get involved. I mean, even if you come and watch and then party with us afterwards, it's, it's, it's awesome. It really is. You know, what's really cool is that, you know, that listeners that have never been to a mud race or even a dirt track, they don't realize that, man, you're coming home dirty. Even as a fan, you're going to come home dirty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, just cleaning up my rigs, you know, I've it anywhere from eight to 12 hours on no. each one, getting them cleaned up afterwards. Yes. Yes. I'm not kidding, man. It is so much work and, and, and very muddy and dirty. You had to learn somewhere along the way. I mean, that's like your parents saying, pick up your toys, go clean your room. Yeah, I, so I will say this. Uh, growing up, I just remember my dad uh, having a, a pickup truck. I remember it was a, a red Ram uh, 1500. It is absolutely nothing special whatsoever. 
but that's what he had and he took care of it and everywhere we drove that thing was clean and uh i, I just remember that as a kid and, and i've kept those same principles um you know all my life uh, like i really do try to have i mean every you know everybody's short on, on on time these days but if i can i'll take an extra an hour or whatever make sure my stuff looks good and clean what is it like for you to have all of these cameras on you at all times Do you have to watch your p's and q's oh man so then that was the that was the biggest kind of uh obstacle i had you know hurdle that i had getting getting used to is is these guys following me around all the time watching my p's and q's i mean not so much i i uh i'm you know own my own business do my own thing i, I don't really have anybody that I got to, you know, uh, any, any rules I got to, I got to follow or anything like that. I can kind of do what I want, but, um, the cameras following us around and the mic people and dude, these guys pull up to these off-road parks, right? This is a bunch of good old boys and girls out in the middle of nowhere. Okay. <laughs> I mean, thousands and thousands of people everywhere that are, that, that, that aren't used to seeing this. And then when like eight blacked out SUVs pull up and all these cameras get out, people are like, what the, what is going on? You know? So that was something that took some getting used to for me and the people, you know, at the park. I wouldn't know how to control my mouth. Cause I'm from Montana. I grew up on a farm. We used our mouth any way we could and should. <laughs> yeah. There's a, there's plenty of, uh, of bleeps that'll be happening. I'm sure on, on my roles. That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> so now I, I got to talk, let's, let's talk the business side of this with you being on discovery okay. with mud madness, your merchandise sales have got to be going through the roof. So we're definitely noticing an increase in sales, uh, for sure. But you know, I'm a, I'm a content creator for a living. So, um, we, we do pretty good on the merch side for sure. Um, I'm definitely excited to see what it does because um, I'll tell you this: I, uh, I I did my best to put on a show and uh, entertain you guys. Um, you know, maybe even a little bit more than I normally would. So uh, it would be it would be awesome to to recoup some of those damages. Um, but uh, but yeah yeah uh, they're doing they're doing good. Do you feel like a rock star? Because every episode that airs on Discovery, I mean, my God, you're one step more famous than you were last week. <laughs> hey, well I've. I appreciate it, but no, man, I, no, no, uh, I'm just, I'm just me. You know what I mean? I don't know any other way to put it. I, I never, I never have, um, re- to be honest, I don't, I have never really looked at anyone or anything and just thought, oh, that's, you know, that's, that person's famous or that person's bigger or better or whatever than X. I just, I may be well known or recognizable or whatever. Um, but now nah, I'm, just still me, man. When I went into those Taekwondo tournaments, it was not if I get hurt, it was when I get hurt. And the question was, how long is the recovery? Let me ask you that question. How long is your recovery? Is it the typical six to eight weeks? So I'm um, very fortunate that um, I, I'm sponsored by Whaley Welding and Fab, and they build some of the best uh, roll cages, nice. in my opinion, the best roll cages. And these guys, yeah. So I'm, I am, I'm harnessed in. I have all the neck restraints. Um, I'm, I am a, as safe as I can be in this thing. So, uh, you know, you might, you might, um, you know, rack your head every so often, but for the most part, it's, it's really your, your, your pockets that get um, damaged the most. And you know, of course, it does happen from time to time. It's, it's definitely part of it, but. I've been pretty fortunate to be able to bounce back pretty quick. So, do you, like in in martial arts, we had to prepare to fall. How do you prepare to roll? Well, um, or anything like that, I'm actually really relaxed and uh, comfortable in the driver's seat when I'm racing, riding, whatever I'm doing. Um, so it it kind of comes natural to me, to be honest with you. I just go with the flow. Yeah. I'm like I said. I'm I'm I got all the safety equipment um, that that I could possibly get, and uh, yeah, you just. Um, trust the trust the build and whatever happens happens there's not a whole lot you can do when you're uh, you know 5,000 pound piece of steel is flipping yeah you know with a show like Mud Mud Madness on Discovery you know that darn Tony Stewart's going to show up sometime on one of your, your tracks because Tony likes a good challenge and he loves mud hey I would welcome that I would love to see that <laughs> what is your goal man What what? because I know you're going to take this to a new level to where we're going to finally see some of this stuff stretch all the way across the country Yes. Yeah. So this stuff is out there. It's everywhere. Um, I'm just excited to, to be able to show people. I'm like, I've told people, uh, you know, you got to come check this out, but I don't, I get it, man. A lot of these, a lot of these parks, like after these interviews today, I'm going to go drive, uh, 13 hours, one way down to Texas to race, uh, this weekend. So yeah, you know, I, I completely understand that some people can't make that. So now we're going to bring it right to your front door. You can, 
you know, get your snacks and, and get your feet up, get comfortable and uh, check it out on Tuesday. Man, what's a website for them to keep, uh, keep in touch with you and to to buy that merchandise? Hey, that'd be great, man. So I am Whiskey Biz on all, all social media platforms, websites, Whiskey Biz Swag. Um, and I, all that I ask is is just double check that you're getting it from our website because uh, unfortunately, man, there's a whole lot of scammers out there. Mm-hmm. And I get emails all the time where people are, you know, I never got my shirt or I never got my hoodie and they send me this completely bogus uh, order number. I'm like, I have no idea what that is. That's not for me. You know, so just kind of double check out there, not just with my stuff, but with anything you do in life these days. Seems seems like people are always out trying to get an easy dollar, I guess. So just be careful with that. Bryce, if you ever, if you ever make it to the Carolinas, man, we got to get together for some barbecue and have a face to face conversation. Oh, dude, that'd be great, man. Where are, you, where are you at in Carolina? I'm in Charlotte. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, I mean awesome. we, we've got that awesome. gigantic track over there, the Charlotte Motor Speedway, and then we have the dirt track. And we have Z Max. We got everything but mud. I mean, we need to we, we need to make oh, some yeah. mud in Charlotte. Well, guess what? It, they they sell equipment every day. We'll dig a hole, man. We'll make something happen. We'll have some fun. <laughs> well, you be brilliant today, okay, dude? All right, brother. You have a good one.